In this world, you will never truly be happy. No matter what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you, you will never truly be content. This place is designed to break your heart. It was designed that way. If you're looking to be happy in the dunya, you're in the wrong place. How could you feel worthless, my dear brothers? How could you feel worthless, my dear sisters? You're not the servant of Allah or Al Uzza or Isa or Krishna or Ganesh. You're not the servant of fashion or money or fame or beauty or power or position. You are the slave of Allah. Allah has chosen you from amongst the billions of human beings. Allah chose you and blessed you with Islam. Pain and suffering only becomes negative if it creates a barrier between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it becomes positive. Pain becomes positive, a motivation for you when it brings you back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh my slave, come back to your Lord. Oh my slave, this is a reminder for you that I want to bring you back to me. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Don't get stressed out, Muslims, over things that haven't happened yet. That's fear. And don't get stressed out over things that's already happened. Everything has been decreed. The most difficult pill for the Muslims to swallow is article number six of our deen, the Qadr of Allah. We don't want to admit it. We forget about the power of Allah. We forget about the presence of Allah. We forget that we came from a clot and we were nothing. Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had to correct everything because we weren't doing anything right. And we get so afraid because we forget. We fear and we forget that Allah is in control. Surely we shall test each and every single one of you with a loss of wealth, with a loss of life, with a loss of profit and trade. So give glad tidings to those who are patient. Those, when they are tested, they say to Allah we belong and to Him we shall return. Upon those people are the blessings and prayers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed, those are the ones who are truly guided. So if you have Allah, you have everything you desire. If you don't have Allah, nothing you desire will make you happy. Nothing. It'll all in the end bring you misery. Wallahi. And that's the truth. It's not a lie.